Last week on my Twitter, I posted a question. If you could add any feature into New Total War and remove one feature for a new and upcoming title, what would those two features be? I got a lot of replies and I kind of want to go through them, see what the people on Twitter are saying. By the way, uh, Legend of Total War's wife now follows me on Twitter. I just wanted to say that, like, I, I don't know why, but anyway, let's get into the video. Alright, so starting this off, we have Hannibal himself. Add adaptive pathfinding. Yeah, better pathfinding is always needed. Although, to be honest, I don't think the new ones do it too bad. I don't think it's that bad there. And remove stupid AI diplomacy. He points out the accept or we attack meme. Uh, that sort of has been removed, but I think the overall point is Total War needs better diplomacy. It has, in many cases, vastly improved, but still, I think it's got a long way to go. And I think that's really the next big leap that Total War needs to make with, like, the AI itself. Uh, coming up next, Obfod. Add the ability to command one of your units in first person mode. That does sound kind of interesting. I don't think it would work for a historical title necessarily, but I think for something like with heroes, I think it could work there where you could become your hero. I doubt they will ever do it, I don't think that's what they're going for, but I think it would be a really nice little mechanic in there. One of my favourite games growing up was Rise and Fall. It was a lot like Age of Empires in a way. It was actually more like Age of Empires 3, but before Age of Empires 3 and set in the ancient Roman world. Well, anyway, you know, it's, it plays like Age of Empires, but you could also become your hero and go around slaughtering people. It was a really good game. And delete Spain. I do not want Spain. Okay, okay, moving on. <laughs> uh, Christopher. Remove the province system and add a supply and demand system. For supply and demand, yes. That does sound good. I think that is needed to create more realism in the game. But as for removing the province system, that's one of the few things that New Total War added that I think is brilliant. I really do like the new system. There's upsides and downsides to both. So yeah, it, it's, it's a weird one. Maybe the original system but improved upon might actually work out better. It's a difficult one to judge. Alright, Danny. Add the man of the hour. Yes, that was a nice little mechanic, get a random general, and of course, move general-only armies. I did like that feature, having generalless armies, and then maybe you get a man of the hour every now and then. It was a good feature. Add a good AI, remove the AI buffs. Uh, I think we all do want this one, but, you know, can it be done? I don't think it can be yet. But, you know, maybe in the future someday. Maybe in the future. Uh, next up. Add saveable army presets you can recruit and assemble using global recruitment system of Warhammer 2. You know what? I, I think he's sort of onto something here. Uh, especially with, like, a preset army. So you don't have to do all, all your little clicking and all that getting each individual unit. You can just make a preset. Click and then they all spawn and gather there. I like that idea. Yeah, I, I actually really like that. That's something that uh, Europe Universalis 4 does have. And I really like it. It does help building armies uh, quite a bit. Yeah, interesting one. I've never actually thought about that before. Um, in the way that he's saying it. But yeah, that would be a nice mechanic. CA devs, get working on this. This is a good one. And remove... All Thrones of Britannia. Like, the very concept of it. Oof. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I, I wouldn't go that far, I don't think. You know, it does offer some good and interesting stuff, even if the game might be bad. At the end of the day, at this point, I'm not judging Saga titles too much. They are meant to be experiments. And if they fail, that's a good thing. That means the next big historical title won't make that same mistake. That's how I see them as now, so yeah. If a Saga title does fail, I think it could be a good thing in the long run. Add supply lines and remove solo units. I agree, I agree. I don't actually see solo units being a thing in like Medieval 3. Maybe like a solo elephant unit, but you know, if we were to get a Medieval 3, a Rome 3, I don't think they're going to do heroes and solo units. And a lot of people will say, oh, it's just how CA is going now. No, it, it's not. You don't actually have any proof at all that a true historical is going for hero units. Warhammer is not historical. Troy is not historical. Three Kingdoms is not historical. All of them do actually have a lot of history in there. Even Warhammer has a lot of history in there. But it's history based off different sources is how I am now seeing it, so... Yeah, I I'm confident that it, going forwards in the future those will not be a thing. In Warhammer 3 they will be. Maybe in a game like a Shogun 3, but I think in the more European based uh, historical titles I don't think they will be. As for supply lines, yes I think that is a thing that is needed. And it uh, could be interesting to see how they approach it as well. Add the ability to have settlements auto-managed again. Really, do people want this? I, I don't know. I personally don't. I, I don't like auto-management, but, you know, some people out there, they might be a fan of that. Let me know down in the comments, do you like the auto-manage feature? And another one here, remove being able to only recruit armies with a general. Ah, uh, he goes sort of for a middle ground here. So you still do need a general to lead an army, like the newer titles. But you can recruit from other places. That could be... Hold on a minute. Imagine if that was tied with a supply and demand system. Imagine if your reinforcements coming back into your army were like part of the supply and demand path and they can get ambushed walking towards your main force. Oh, that could really open up quite a bit. Yeah, that could be interesting. So your reinforcement routes could get ambushed and cut off. Oh, that could work really well in a Napoleon 2. But I think it would work in like a Rome 3, a Medieval 3 and all of that as well. Add a dynamic population mechanic with distinguishable social classes used for taxation and recruitment. Yes, I would 100% want to see this. I think it was, is it 12? Yeah, it's 1212 AD that does this. And I think Divide et Impera. It's a very popular system with mods. I don't know why CA has not done it yet. They've tried to experiment with it before, but yeah, they've never got it perfect. I don't know. I think for the next big historical title, as I've said, it needs to boom. It needs to be good. And a feature like this, I think, is a must. Remove whatever system causes melee fights to look so wobbly and buggy ever since Empire. This is a weird one for me. I don't really notice it. Like, a lot of people say this, but I don't notice it. Maybe it's, it's just me, but, you know... Uh, my main, like, new historical title is Attila. I think Attila does it okay. I don't know. Oh, and I guess Shogun 2, but I think Shogun 2 does it okay as well. I cannot speak for the others, though. And one now, last but not least. Actually, it is from Admiral Price, so it probably is least. Uh, <laughs> remove building global recruitment and add recruitment based on generals held provinces and upgrades slash retinue. So you don't get units from a building like a barracks, 
but you get it from the province and the retinue. Okay, so that could work. I like the province idea. Uh, you could get like ethnically cultured units in there. That's good. Yeah, I think that could work. Um, especially like in a Rome 3. Because, uh, you know, culture was a very important thing back then. Like, yeah, especially around Egypt. Because, you know, they were Greek but recruiting like the local population. The rulers were Greek. But as for based on upgrades and retinue, I'm unsure about that one. I think it could be an interesting mechanic. Um, you know, it could add a layer of gameplay that I could like, but yeah, I guess at the end of the day, it depends on how it's done. If it's done right, it could work well. But if it's done wrong, it's gonna be a mess, in my opinion. Anyway, that's been all of them. I do hope you enjoyed. Check out my Twitter. Subscribe for more, like if you did like the video, and yeah, for now, until the next one, tomorrow's video, goodbye.